One of the aspects of Frederick Douglass's oration in 1876 at the Freedmen's Monument that I find most compelling is that um, it demonstrates how individuals themselves can change their minds or at least change the way they express their opinions. So in 1876, during his oration in front of the monument to Lincoln as an emancipator, Douglass wrote or said, uh, Abraham Lincoln was not in the fullest sense of the word either our man or our model in his interests, in his associations, in his habits of thought, and in his prejudices. He was a white man. He was preeminently the white man's president, entirely devoted to the welfare of the white man. Now Douglas went on to then praise and put Lincoln into context, but the, the bitterness of that description uh, as a byproduct of Reconstruction and the disappointment that followed the Civil War is clear, especially when you compare it to what he said about Lincoln just after the assassination in 1865. Listen to these words. Abraham Lincoln, while unsurpassed in his devotion to the white race, was also in a sense, hitherto without example, emphatically the black man's president, the first to show any respect for their rights as men. In 1865, Lincoln was the black man's president, according to Frederick Douglass, but in 1876, he was the white man's president. The contrast is striking. It shows to our students that um, Individuals change their minds, their, think, their thinking evolves, and that often what they're describing is a byproduct of the context of their moment and not necessarily a final and permanent insight, especially when it comes to evaluating a historical figure or a historical moment.